hey you guys welcome back to another video um so this is gonna be episode two and this episode is all about overstimulation and just what you're giving your time and energy to and like some of the bad habits that we as a collective all have and have to overcome so let's just get straight into it um so the first point i just want to make is you know a lot of the times in our everyday life we are very overstimulated in many ways and i feel as though you know like especially with social media there's just a lot of topics that are surfacing like 24 7 there's a lot of things that people are talking about there's a lot of things that people are doing, a lot of things we're seeing and consuming on a daily basis. And I feel like it's so important to just take a step back and really clear your mind and just have me time and to really go deep within yourself and just listen and become still. And I think that's very important, especially now, because there's a lot of things being revealed to us and it's just a lot of change and transformation, which is um, what I spoke on in my last video. And I feel as though that this is a time where, you know, we're in winter season. It's a time to go into hibernation a little bit and just do some inner work. It never hurts and it makes the process of reaching your goals or just living every day on a day-to-day -day basis, it makes it much easier when you're just doing the inner work to heal your traumas and accept your past and accept yourself for who you are. So I feel like being overstimulated, it's a lot of things that can go into that. So if you're constantly watching, you know, TV, constantly watching drama shows or Netflix and constantly scrolling hours throughout the day, like that stuff that I had to look at too. Like, why am I on my phone every single day for hours? Like, that's actually not okay. And I'll even look at it and like, a separated type of thing like I'll try to separate myself <laughs> from my body if that makes sense like just to just to see and go outside of myself just to see like exactly how I look or just try to picture how I look just day to day on the phone scrolling nonstop for hours and even on like the phone when your notification pops up and it tells you like your screen time your average screen time for the week. I just think it's ridiculous that most days I was at like 10 hours a day on my phone. Like that's ridiculous. And it's moments like that that makes me realize how distracted we really are. Just overly indulged in other people's life and overly indulged in what other people are doing. And then that creates these patterns of... um comparing just comparing our journey to others and it's very important to just keep in mind everybody's purpose is different you know your journey is not going to look the same everybody is uniquely different everybody has a uniquely different path and it's not their job or your job to take the same steps and it's very important that again you become still and quiet so that you can listen because that has been the biggest game changer even for myself this past year and when I first started this whole journey I like it really blew my mind how much the senses just they're just advanced when you really just use them correctly and I say that because when you're quiet and not distracted and you're focused on your goals and you're focusing on, you know, just cultivating what's the next step for me and 
how can I make this a reality? How can I actually manifest what I really want from my life? You have to be still and you have to surrender. And those are like the two most important things that I follow every single day. I don't even try to control the outcome of the situation. I don't try to control the outcome of how my day is going. I start my rising by setting the attention and I'm going to have a great day. As soon as I wake up, I'm immediately saying everything I'm grateful for and just having those rituals for yourself, self-care rituals and the more love and high vibrational um, words and energy that you put into yourself and into your life, you'll find that you'll start to be more creative and you'll start to tap back into the flow of just being yourself and finding what it is that you really love to do and what your passions are and why you're put here at this very moment because it's all relevant. And even your environment, you know, where, I mean, are you in in areas where, you know, you're being supported? Are people supporting you? Do you have the right people in your life supporting you? Because environment and who you keep around you is very vital too. And, you know, if if you're in a place where you're in surrounded by a lot of drama and um, just a lot of chaotic negative energy, then, you know, we are humans and especially emp- empathetic people, we tend to, you know, soak all of that up even without trying. It just happens. And it does become overbearing when, you know, it's constant. And every day you're just involved and overly indulged into other things other than putting you first and pouring your cup back up fully because you cannot give to your life and give to others and give to your dreams and whatever you're here for. You can't properly navigate to that point because you're so overstimulated. And I I just hate that in society nowadays, it's normalized to have a million things going on and not take time to really just sit still and focus. And, you know, we always have to be productive. We always have to have things going on. And I don't think that's fair. I think everybody deserves the chance to just relax and that's the only way you're going to get clear. Even with jobs, I don't agree of, first of all, if you know me, you just know, I don't agree with the whole working propaganda at all. I'm all for making your passion your source of income. That's what I'm for. I really wish that it was more normalized to, you know, do the things that you love and make an income from that. And I feel like there would be more people on this planet that were happy and full of life, smiling and not always down and miserable and just constantly frustrated if they were allowed to do what they love to do and make an income from that. And I just think that's where a lot of the tension comes from as well. If you're working and you're just forcing yourself to be somewhere you don't want to be, you're forcing yourself to be somewhere where you don't even like doing the job and you don't like the people around you. So you settle. And again, that ties into overstimulation because you're overly indulging yourself into something that is not for you. And I am a strong advocate for if it's not resonating with you, if it's not filling up your cup, if it's not helping you to elevate your spirit onto the next level, if it's not mentally making you happy, if it's not physically energizing your body's temple, if it's not energizing your spirit on a positive vibration, then let it go. And I'm not saying just go out and quit your job. I mean, I feel like people should have a plan, but I just feel like 
you have to know where to put your energy and where to put your time. T, time, energy, and attention. And I learned that from a wonderful woman that I watch. Um, she'll go live on her Instagram. She's like a, she's a life coach, Hadia, and she's amazing. So that's another thing that helps me too, is listening to um, people who speak value in their life and people who've actually done it, people who are constantly living by what they say and what they preach. And, you know, you'll find yourself when you finally exit the bubble of normalization that society has created, you'll just, you'll find yourself feeling very separated from it all. And, you know, just where do I go from here? But you can do it as long as you, as long as you believe in yourself and you're pouring love into yourself, that is like the number one thing that I could ever recommend to anyone is even like something simple as taking a shower, taking a bath, like just speaking positive affirmations to yourself. It it really does wonders. And I do it every single time that I shower I'm just constantly speaking positively to myself. I'm constantly telling myself how much I love and adore myself. And it really shows and it makes a difference. Your subconscious hears everything that you say. So you have to make sure that you're using your words with intention and positive intention. Excuse me if I sound sick. It's a change of season. I am not a fan of winter at all, but I did learn to love the opportunity it gives us all to go into hibernation and really just, again, do the inner work and focus on your goals, you know? It's cold outside. There's nothing to do outside during this time of year. This is the perfect time to really lock in and focus You have to have obedience on your journey. You have to have patience on your journey. You have to have clarity. You have to have focus, determination. It's and surrender. Surrendering to the process is the biggest key. You have to let go of all expectations because not everything's going to go your way. Sometimes the universe is really protecting you from what you don't need in your life at the current moment. And it's okay. That's another thing to be grateful for. And I, I've learned and I'm learning to see the positive in every situation. And it really, really just makes you have a change of heart for, you know, how you see the world. And, um, you know, also just recognizing your bad habits, too, because, you know, you, you want to get out of the cycle of continuously doing the same thing every day. Try something new, you know, try something new one day and just see, you know, how you like it. And maybe you want to make that a routine for yourself just to get out of old habits, you know, and recognize when you're recognize when you're down and out, recognize when you're not showing up for yourself, recognize when you're getting overwhelmed recognize when you're entirely fatigued, recognize when you have no energy, recognize when you're getting frustrated and, you know, crabby with everybody around you, because those are the signs right there that you need to be still and you need to fall back into a relaxation and focus on yourself. You know, you're not missing anything you know, these clubs and everything, it's the same thing every single time. And for me, I found clubs and going out and drinking, that is just a no for me. Like, uh, I don't, I feel like it's just a place where people just, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't resonate for me right now. Um, right now it's just a time to focus and, You know, if you've gotten anything from this video, I really hope that you understand the importance of yourself and loving yourself because no one's going to do it for you. 
you know, you got to do the work. You have to do the work. And even food, what food are you eating? You know, that's why um, me personally, I recently started going on an alkaline diet. And oh my gosh, y'all, like I really hope you try it one day or, you know, just try to cut out the fast food and the processed food. I know it's hard and it's not easy to just stop, you know, cold turkey but I'm telling you, like, if you eat food with life, that's all you'll feel is so full of life and so happy, so at peace. And honestly, it's been working. Like, I love it. I don't even want to go back to eating crappy food. I can't. But, you know, it's important to eat high vibrational foods. Everything starts from within and it'll show on the outside. And that's just the importance of it all, you know? Fix your fix your insides. Work on yourself internally so that on the outside, you just glow different, you know? And you start inspiring other people. And that's how the chain reaction starts, you know? You heal yourself. You step outside of yourself. Step outside of your comfort zone. You know, you'll surprise yourself with how much you're able to really do, how much you're capable of doing once you really take the time to hone in and build up your self-confidence to do it. Then you start inspiring other people around you, you know, and I've noticed it with myself, even in like my small circle and my family and just people around me. I notice I have that energy of inspiring other people, and that's why I really Love that I started this podcast because I get to talk and just express myself. And, you know, it's a way that people build connection and you find your right crowd of people. So, yeah, I think that's, I feel like I've pretty much touched on everything. Um, So, it's just life. You just have to love to learn the life that you have because you know, this is the one that you're blessed with in this timeline. And there's so many things to be grateful for. Even on a weekend, just not doing anything, just be grateful that you have time to relax. And even if you're not where you want to be right now, just keep fighting. Just keep, actually, let me rephrase myself. Just keep surrendering to the process and knowing that everything's going to be okay in the end and start picturing yourself in the end process that you want to be in. Start visualizing that, start speaking it, and start believing it because once you, like visualization is everything, like it's a, a huge step in the process. So that's like the main pointer I really want to make here is just focus and you know even just taking a walk outside it really helps you to get quiet and just listen to the the trees and the wind and the birds and the animals and you'll really hear you know the universe speak to you you'll start seeing the signs it's hard to ignore you'll just see it And it's like, wow, like everything is, now I get it. Because now you're seeing, now you're hearing and you're listening. And when you listen, you're proving to yourself that you're worthy of the process. You know? So that's it for episode two, you guys. I really wanted to make this simple um, and short. But I definitely have a lot a lot of things that I want to talk about. So if you have any ideas or anything you want to touch on, um, please let me know. And thank you so, so much for the support and all the kind words that people have shared with me on starting this podcast. I really appreciate it. And I hope everyone's doing well and just being easy on themselves during this time. a lot of craziness outside and we just take this time to really just focus on love that's really it that's the message just focus on love 
and give it to yourself. So thank you everyone for listening and have a blessed day.